Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Lady Luck. Now, uh, today I'm going to roll to see if we're going to do free battles or raiding battles. We are going to do raiding battles, which is a little bit unfortunate with the team that I rolled. Um, so, yes, I would like to send my battles automatically. It, I don't know what that does, but I don't really care, to be quite honest with you. Now we're going to have to roll for a form. And I'm hoping we get singles. Oh, hey, sweet. Cool. We got singles. Now, the reason I'm hoping we get singles is because, first of all, we're going to be using the in-party team. Now, if you're looking at this in-party team, you're probably wondering to yourself, Wow, Ryan, you got really lucky. Yeah, I got some pretty cool things. Except for the fact that, um, Aerodactyl, Charizard, and Kangaskhan all are wearing their Mega Stones. And on top of that, the other three are all part dark type. <laughs> so it's actually kind of funny the way that this worked out. We got basically a half mono, half. We've got a mono dark, mono mega team. And it's kind of funny. So we're going to go for in party. Uh, we're going to get this battle going. And as with usual, each Lady Luck episode is only one battle. Uh, it's not competitive. Well, I mean, okay. So for those of you who are new to the series, when I said at the beginning we're going to roll for free a rating, if we roll to free, every single thing we do is controlled by the die, who we bring, what moves we use, if we stay in, if we switch out. If I roll rating, we try and make it as competitively as we can, so we put away the die after we we uh, randomize the team and after after we um, decide which format we do. So now, now, that we, now that I've cleared that, we're going to have to decide what to do. Now, Mega Kangaskhan is going to be pretty, pretty strong, so I'm going to just start off with Mega Kangaskhan. Mega Kangaskhan is going to hit hard, it's going to hit like a truck, it's going to be what we need. Now, uh, on the other side of things, Gliscor is going to be pretty hard to deal with, and um, our only option really is Charizard. Um, yeah, we really only have Charizard to deal with that. So it's going to be Mega Kangaskhan, Charizard, oop, I hit summary. <laughs> uh, Charizard, who's unfortunately not going to be able to Mega, unless we don't think we need to Mega with Kangaskhan. And um, looking at the rest, I think we'll want Crocodile for that Intimidate. It is a bulky Crocodile, which is something that I really like. I believe I stole this set from Shofu. I'm not entirely sure. I believe he was the one with the Crocodile set that I have taken. But uh, it works pretty well, and I used it on my mono dark type at the very beginning of this uh, this channel, really. Uh, so if you guys want to check that out, you can go down and uh, go look for the mono type challenge, dark challenge, and I've used that on the team. So he's gonna start off straight off with this Gliscor, and um, uh, this is a singles Mega Kangaskhan because I was using it before before it was banned by Smogon. It's got Return, Earthquake, Sucker Punch, and Power Punch. I'm just gonna go straight up for the Return, see how much that does. Basically saying to my Charizard, sorry bro, you're not Mega Evolving, but I don't really care. I don't know what this thing can do to me, it can Toxic me, it's probably not going to do too much damage with Earthquake. It is going to go for Toxic, which means it's going to take a pretty strong hit from this return. It's going to do a lot, I believe. I know Gliscors are defensively capable, but that does a little more than I was hoping. I, I mean a little less than I was hoping, so I'm going to go for a Power Up Punch here. Um, as he probably will protect. Uh, so I'm going to go for a power up punch. He might, you know, substitute. We don't know. Uh, he's going to go for protect as we go for power up punch. Uh, the power up punch is going to be useful because as he recovers HP to uh, poison, it's going to turn a three hit KO to a potential four hit KO. And we don't want to deal with that. So we're going to put ourselves to plus two, and that should be more than enough to take it out from wherever it will be. Um, as our neighbor continues to. Do something. I don't know. I'm curious, but we'll never find out, I don't think. Uh, I don't know what he just went for. I actually did not see it because I missed it, but we will be at plus four now, meaning he should... No, uh, plus two, rather. I, I do apologize for that. Um, he's going to go for Earthquake. He's going to be slower than us this turn, so I guess it's being a speed tie. Um, so hopefully we can beat the speed tie this turn. I know we're slowly losing our Kangaskhan to poison, but I don't really care. Um, hopefully a plus two return will take this thing out. Um, it is stab. It is powerful. It is all that. He's gonna go for, for uh, he's gonna go for another protect, which is really not the end of the world, to be quite honest with you. Um, he's gonna keep getting HP. We're gonna keep losing. I don't really care, um, to be quite honest with you. 
Uh, I'm not really playing this very well, but I don't really have a good switch in with my um, Charizard. I, I just, yeah, I, I just can't switch him in. We are going to go first, thankfully, but we will die this turn to poison. Um, but that plus two is going to be more than enough. It is crit. It did crit, but um, I don't know if that second hit really did matter if it critted or not. Uh, we will be going down to poison this turn anyway. So there we go. I believe that was a speed tie with the Glide Square because the first turn it toxicked us before. So I'm going to bring in Charizard because he has very, very things, very things. He has a lot of things that don't want to take uh, Fire Blasts or anything, most notably Scizor. Um, so I'm going to assume he is uh, going to switch out. I'm just going to go for Flamethrower anyway. It's still going to do its damage. Um... And if he has a zoom rail in the back, we're done. We can't beat it. He's got Blissey, so it's actually not too shabby for us. Um, I do have my Cro Crocodile. I do have to sneeze, but it's not going to be coming out, and that's unfortunate. I'm going to bring in my Crocodile here to take the po potential Toxic. Um, knowing that he does not have a zoom rail in the back means that we can afford to uh, switch in back and forth because... Azumarill could take out the rest of our team, but he doesn't have Azumarill, so we're good. Um, Grugadile, the Intimidate's not going to do very much to this, but uh, we could, you know, Earthquake and stuff like that. I believe I have Earthquake. I might have Knock Off, which would be very useful. Uh, it's just poison all around on this guy's team, which is really unfortunate. It's really stally. But I, I hope I have Knock Off, because I'm going to go for Knock Off. God, you can hear my New York when I say that, can't you? Uh, <laughs> oh, man. But uh, let's see what this what, what this set is. I didn't look at the set before I took it, so I don't know what I what I have. Um, I have Taunt, so I'm actually going to go for Taunt. That's going to work pretty well. So you can't Soft Boil, so you can't uh, Wish, so you can't Protect. It's going to work out very well in our favor. Uh, and the other moves I had was Crunch and Earthquake. So he's going to withdraw, which is rather unfortunate for us. Uh, a Scissor can do a lot of damage to us. But um, we will get the taunt off, so if he wants us to switch out so he can go for a sword stance, he can't do that, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but I really hate stall games. We're going to try really hard to break this stall. Uh, I'm assuming you're going to be going for an X's or anyway. I'm going to go for a crunch just for the sheer fact that it'll do damage, and we'll get to see. I should be able to survive, um, except it is mega, so I don't know if I will survive anymore. Uh, I did not expect it to mega at all, to be quite honest with you. Um, so we'll see. I am still faster than it, which is quite interesting. Uh, and that's going to do not enough, and he's going to go for that Excisor, which I actually don't think I'm going to survive anymore. Um, I, I do survive that, so... What? Oh, leftovers. I thought I had weakness policy for a second. Um, I do survive that, but he's probably going to go for the uh, bullet punch. So I have to bring him a Charizard. No point in squandering our crocodile just yet. Um, and Charizard is probably going to force this thing out. Yeah, he is going to go for the, the bullet punch. So I'm going to go for ancient power, really hoping to get that uh, boost. Um... And even if he doesn't switch out, I could potentially still get a boost. But I do have to sneeze, and it's not coming. Which is really annoying. If I can't get this boost, I unfortunately can't win. Uh, I need maybe two boosts to win, I believe. Uh, we'll see. Once I get one boost, I'll... Uh... That was a crit. That was a crit. Well, I have to... I'm going to go for Flamethrower. It did a little bit more damage, and it burnt. Well, no, I have to go for the boost. I have to go for the boost. I really do because uh, there's no way to break through this Blissey without my Crocodile, and I can't switch in without my with my Crocodile at that little range. Um, I can't switch in at all because unfortunately Crocodile will die to any attack and or poison the turn it switches in. So I'm basically stuck here trying to go for Ancient Power as this Blissey slowly kills me with uh, Seismic Toss, and this is really my only way to win because. Flamethrower won't do enough damage, and I do get the boost. I do get the boost, so all that, all that, uh, all that lovely boosting uh, and using ancient power has paid off. So now we're gonna just shoot for flamethrowers. Hopefully, we can survive another seismic toss, which I don't know if we can. Um, and hopefully, this flamethrower does a lot of damage. We'll have to find out right now. It does do enough damage with a crit 
Can we survive this seismic toss? If we survive this, we don't, we lose. <laughs> Alright, well that's still still anyone's game. We can at least take out this the Blissey, I think, with an earthquake. So uh, we're going to do that. We're going to go for it. Uh, if he decides to switch in, stay in, we'll, we'll get that earthquake off. If he de decides to switch out, we'll still get the earthquake off, but uh, alas, we won't win. Or we won't at least we we no matter what we lose because he has two Pokemon we have one but at least it won't be a two zero or and it will be a one zero and uh, of course it will be a one zero so I'll take it I will take it unless this poison doesn't kill us from here with lefties which it actually might not it doesn't okay I'll take that which means we still have a chance uh, if he misclicks and doesn't choose bullet punch. Uh, so I'm gonna go for that earthquake, that very powerful earthquake, and we're gonna hope for the best. We're gonna hope for the best. Don't up, uh, and he didn't miss click. Can he miss? He doesn't miss, of course, because it is 100% accuracy. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you at the next episode. Peace.